Hey. Yeah, what? Do you know Bailu Village? Bailu Village? Hmm. I don't know. I see. Maybe Sex knows. Why don't you ask him? Who is Spex? There's a kid with glasses over there, right? The kid with glasses? Yeah. He's a smart aleck, but he knows a lot of stuff. I see. Okay, I'll ask him. Where is the kid they call Specs? He's not my friend. He's a smarty pants. I want to ask that Specs kid where Bailu Village is. I see. He's always playing by the shop. By the shop? Yeah, over there where the pharmacy and the fish shop are. I see. I'll look. Thanks. Can you help me? Yes? Do you know where Bailu Village is? I know Bailu Village, but... What? I've never been there. About Bailu Village, do you know how to get there? Bailu Village is far upstream along a river called In Shui Chuan. In Shui Chuan. So, do you see how to get there? I see. Bailu Village is located upstream, along the Ying Shui Twin. Yeah, that means if you walk upstream along the riverbank of the Ying Shui Twin, you can get there. Which way is the Ying Shui Twin? There's a path leading to the Ying Shui Twin there. Would I get there if I follow the path? Perhaps. Perhaps? I've never been there. That's what I was told. Okay, I understand.
I'd better hurry. Hey, are you all right? The little deer. Where is the deer? Oh, good. I'm so glad. Saved us. Are you okay? Thank you. Why did you jump in? I just had to. I had to save it. Huh. 
The white deer is my village's guardian. A guardian? A white deer. White. Bai. Deer. Lu. Bai Lu village. My home. Bai Lu village. Where is this village? It's up along this river. Is it far? I can show you. I'm Shinhua. What's your name? Yo, Hazuki. Yo, follow me. Yo. Hmm. Where did you come from? I. You're not from here, are you? No, I came from Japan. Japan? Where's that? It's an island country east of China. In the east. Japan is pretty small compared to China. Is it far from here? Well, actually, it's kind of far. A faraway country to the east. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Shenfa. What is it, Yo? What kind of place is Bailu Village? It's a small village in the mountains. Is it far from here? Yes, we have to cross two mountains. Really, two mountains? Have you lived in Bailu Village all your life? Yes, ever since I was small. Your family as well? Yes, my father and I. The two of us have always lived in Bailu Village. I see. Shenfa. Yes. How many people live in Bailu Village? About fifty people. Fifty people? Yes. The villagers are all nice people. I'm sure they will be nice to you too. It sounds like a nice village. Yes. There are inconveniences since the village is surrounded by mountains. But the villagers live off the gifts from the mountains. The mountains' blessings. Further ahead, as we near the village. The paths are going to get more rocky. Yes, we'll be going over the mountain now. So tell me if you're tired. Let's go slowly. Shenfa. Yes. Can you tell me more about Bailu Village? Let's see. My grandfather told me that it's one of the oldest villages in Guili. An old village. Yes. It's been around since the Tang Dynasty. Since the Tang Dynasty. It's been said that some nobles who were expelled from the city by the emperor built the village to live in hiding. Really? Shenfa. Yes. It's nothing. Shenfa. Yes. Let's hurry on. Yes. What's this tree? A fragrant olive tree. They are in bloom up ahead too. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. During this season, all the trees are in full bloom. Fragrant olives. Yes. In China, we call these trees gui, and there are so many here, like woods or lin. So gui lin means the woods of fragrant olives. Really? A lot of them are in bloom. Yes. It's as though the whole mountain is wrapped by the flowers. Let's move on, Yo. Okay. Shenfa. Yes. Do you like flowers, Shenfa? Yes, I love them. How about you? Flowers. I had a friend whose family ran a florist. Your friend in Japan? Yeah. What is a florist? A shop that sells flowers. 
sell flowers? Yeah, that's right. That's strange. Flowers can be found everywhere. Well, that's true. Does your friend go pick flowers in the mountains and sell them? No, Nozomi. The person's name is Nozomi? Yeah. Who was this person? Nozomi. We were childhood friends. A childhood friend? We lived near each other and went to the same school. Were you too close? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's the matter, Yo? We were close. I see. Shenfa. Yes? What does your father do? He's a stone cutter in Bailu village. I see. He finds various stones in the mountain stone pits and creates beautiful works of stone. When we get to our village, I want to show you some things my father created. I'd like that. Good. What about your father? My father. My father taught me a lot of things. Just like me and my father. Yeah. What did your father teach you? Father. Father. No, what's wrong? Did I say something wrong? No. I was just remembering something. By the way, aren't we near Bailu Village yet? We go over this mountain, and we'll have to go even further. I see. We still have a long way to go. Shenfa. Yes? No matter how far we go, the paths look all the same. It's like this everywhere around here. Did you ever get lost? When I was small, I did. But if you get lost, just take the animal trails. The animal trails? The path that the animals in the mountains walk. If you follow one, it'll always lead to water. How do you find one? You look for animal footprints. Footprints? You know so much about animals. I've played in the forest since I was a child. You learned it naturally. No, my father taught me most of the things I know. Your father? Yes, about the forest and the mountains and the animals. He taught me about the sky, the stars, and many other things. I see. So many butterflies. They're beautiful. Don't they look like flowers? Flowers. Hey, yeah, they do look like flowers. When I was small, I once saw a lot of butterflies all fly away at once. I started crying because I really thought that all the flowers had flown away. Why are there so many here? Why? There aren't any flowers around here. This is the place where the butterflies come to drink water. To drink? Yes, after the rainfall they come here to take in the drops on the leaves. You see them often after a rainfall. I see. Shenfa. Yes? How far does this forest go? All the way to the village. Oh, the scenery looks all the same to me. People not from here think the exact same thing. It's amazing how you don't get lost. How do you recognize the paths? I'll know the direction if I see the sun's position. And there are signs here and there on the paths. Signs? On these mountain paths? Yes, there are some ahead of here. Strangely shaped trees and stones and the drinking water places. Oh, you use the rocks and trees as landmarks. I've been using the signs all the way till now. Didn't you notice? No, I didn't notice. I'll show you what the signs are. One of them is just up ahead. Okay. Shifted. Let's go through the forest before it gets dark. Yo, can you run? Y yeah. Shenfa.
Watch your step. Ow. All right. Don't worry. Be careful. Your step. The path ends here. Let's go over this cliff. We're going to climb this? Yes. It's slippery. Watch your step. All right. Yo, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's hurry. It's this way. Yeah. Here's a spring. Yes. Travelers and animals all quench their thirst here. Fireflies. In a place like this, with a clear spring, there are fireflies. They're beautiful. Yes. It's like being surrounded by stars. It's my first time seeing so many fireflies. Aren't there fireflies in Japan? When I was a child I saw some. But there are only a few of them now. Wait, Yo. Huh? You should be careful when they are shining low near the shrubs. Snake eyes shine very much like fireflies. Snake eyes? If you put your hand out carefully, you'll get bitten. I didn't know that. The spring here means we're almost at the end of the forest. Really? Yes, but it's getting dark. We must hurry on our way. Yes, let's move on.
Watch your step. The sun has gone down. The cave is near. Let's find it quickly. Okay. This is some cliff. Yes, it's one of the most dangerous areas around here. Do you always walk through here? Yes, but I don't walk here at night. When it gets dark, I can't see very well. Also, the animals start moving around looking for water. I see. It's getting pretty dark. We have to find the cave quickly. Soon, the moon is going to hide behind the clouds. It'll be difficult to find once it gets dark. Is it near here? Yes. Travelers use it to take shelter from the rain. I think it was along the cliffside. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's wait for the sunrise here. Yeah. Kindle a fire. Uh -huh. The night is cold in the mountains. Our clothes are wet. We'll freeze. We've got to find some firewood to make a fire. Uh. Looks like someone has made a fire. There was someone here. Someone who passed by here must have spent the night. We can still use this. But this won't be enough to last till morning. We'll need to gather more wood. Yeah. I'll go look outside. Yo. The twigs outside are still wet from the rain. We can't burn them. Then what? Look. There are some twigs. Perhaps we could find more further inside. All right. I'll go find them. You can watch the fire. Yes.
this won't be enough. I should look for more. I should look for more. There should be more. There should be more. I should go back. Yeah, there seems to be more. I'll go gather them. Yes. This won't be enough. I should look for more. I should go back. We have enough firewood. Good. Thank you. Come by the fire to get warm, yo. Yeah. It's so warm. Yeah. Yo. Hmm. Talk to me. How do you usually spend your time in the village? I plant vegetables in the field and feed the goats. Do you go to school? We don't have one in the village. Anything I need to know I learn from my father and the villagers. How old are you? Sixteen. Two years younger than me. Do you go to school? I used to. Is school fun? Yeah, I had friends in school. We used to have a lot of fun. It would have been better if we didn't have exams. School? Sounds like fun. What were your friends like? There was Tom. Tom? He's from the States. He's a real funny guy. Did he go to school too? No. He sold hot dogs in town. Hot dogs? It's a foreign food. He also loved to dance. He was always singing. He sounds like a fun person. Yeah. He taught me a special move before I left. 
Where is he now? He went back home to the States. I think he's doing fine. Oh, what other friends did you have? There was Guizan. Who is that? We met each other because of a particular incident. He's a stubborn guy and very proud. He respected his father with all his heart. Where is he now? He got hurt when he was trying to save me in Japan. He got hurt because of me. I don't think he has any regrets. Hmm? Who would regret risking their life for a friend in danger? My father says that's what a Chinese loyal friend is supposed to do. A loyal friend. His skills in Chinese martial arts are really something. If I ever get the chance, I'd like to spar with him again. I'm sure you'll see him again. Yeah. What other friends did you have? I remember... Oh yeah, there was Goro. Goro? Yeah, I met him at the harbor. When I first met him, he was bullying and taking money from people. What do you mean by bullying? He was threatening people to get money. He sounds like a bad person. Inside, he's a nice guy. He doesn't do those things anymore. He's eager to please. In what ways? He changes his attitude towards certain things real quickly. He started calling me bro out of nowhere. What a funny person. Goro. He found a job for me at the harbor. A job carrying crates. Ah, there's a job like that in the village. This person owns many cows and... No, I carried them using a machine. Machine? Oh, you have experienced a lot of things. What other friends did you have? There was Nozomi. Nozomi? Who is that? I have a picture. Are all Japanese women so beautiful? I'm not sure. She looks so gentle. I gave her so much trouble. Did something happen? She was kidnapped by a bunch of rough men back home. And what happened? I saved her. That was good. But she experienced such fear. Where is she now? In Canada. Canada? A country far away. Do you wish to see her? I have things to get done. I have to go through that first. Really? Do you always walk these paths alone? Yes. Did you come to China alone? Yeah. I went to Hong Kong to meet a master named Li Xiaotao. Hong Kong? Were you able to meet this person? Yeah. Who was this person? A master of Baji style. A master? I have a picture of Master Tao. Let me see it. The person dressed in blue. She's so beautiful. She's the master? Yeah. She taught me some moves. If I had never met her, I would have been... My father said people meet because of destiny. Destiny? Yes. You didn't meet her by accident. Destiny had guided you to meet her. Destiny. What kind of food do you usually eat, Shenfa? I... You must be hungry. We walked a lot. Tomorrow, when we get home, I'll prepare a big meal for you. I'm not that great of a cook, though. A big meal. Can't wait. How about rabbit? 
A rabbit? I've never tried it. Do you eat it all the time? Yes. Don't you eat rabbit in Japan? No. We eat beef or. But cows help cultivate the fields. How do you get your meat? We catch them in the mountains. The mountains. Sounds like a lot of work. Sometimes my father catches them. Rabbits, pheasants, and turtle doves. What's wrong? I never thought about it that way. All I've had to do was buy the meat or the vegetables. But we catch our gifts from the mountains. The meat satisfies our hunger, and the fur protects us from the cold. Everything is a gift from the mountains. I guess that's what living in the mountains is all about. Yes. It's getting late. I think you should get some sleep. Yes. It'll be a fine day tomorrow. Hmm. I know because the wind shifted. You can tell just because of that. During this season, when the west wind blows, it'll be a fine day. Really? It's late now. Go ahead and get some sleep. I'll watch the fire. Thank you. Sorry, did I wake you up? No, I got some sleep. Dai Chi, did you learn that from your father too? No, I learned this in Hong Kong, but I mostly learned from watching. Breathe in the power from the earth and collect it in the center of the abdomen. There is much power in the trees, water, stones, and everything. Power in everything? Yes. I always gain power from the forest. From the forest. What was that? Wolves. Wolves. Are they nearby? Yes, there are many wolves. The name Lang Huishan means Wolf's Mountain. I heard that wolves are nocturnal. Yes, sometimes groups of them attack people at night. People. Aren't you scared? We'll be fine if we have the fire burning. They would never come near a fire. Oh, that's why we built a fire at the entrance. We better keep the fire going then. Watch the fire now. You should rest a little, Joe. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. 
Shenfa. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? No. What was that song? It's an old song of the village. Of Bailu Village? Yes. There are many old songs in the village. What was the meaning of that song? It's a song about the landscape of Guilin. The mountains of Guilin glisten after the rain. Clear water flows into the spring which flows into the river of Ying Shui Chuen. Ying Shui Chuen? It's the river where you saved me. Ah. In the summer, there are fireflies by the riverside. So the name Ying Shui Chuen means river of fireflies. Yes. I'll watch the fire now, Shenfa. Thank you. Lovely weather. Just like you said. Let's go. It's this way. Gyo, look. All the mountains here have such strange shapes. But aren't they beautiful? Yeah. They are called Shan Shen Shan Chen? Yes, it means a mountain with a pure, beautiful shape. I see. 